I'm here with Patty. Tell me about what you did for your family project. Well, Herbie and I take food to our neighbor every Sunday after church. She really likes baked potatoes, so we take her baked potato and visit with her and share God's love, say so, a prayer. tell me about what's going on in her life. Well, as of today, we found out she's in the hospital with stage four cancer, so. So you get a chance to really be a blessing for her, don't you? We try to. She. Well, she likes baked potatoes. Well, thanks for giving in the name of Jesus. I'm here with Tina, and she's going to tell us about what her family project was. Uh, Pastor Paul, I've been working in Wellington, Ohio for the past um, year, and last year we started for the first time. They send out uh, Christmas bulbs all over town that are uh, paper and state what all the senior citizens in Wellington are in need of. So the Gabler family for the past year, and then again this year, we adopt three senior citizens, and they need everything from stationery to postage to warm socks to warm gloves to warm hats. So we're adopting three senior citizens this year in Wellington, and that's part of our giving back. Great. And that's your whole family working together? That's our whole family working together, yes. Exciting. Great. Yes. Thanks. Thank you. So I'm here with Ryan Hoffman, and he participated in a lot of our church events, uh, including the Sound the Alarm event where we put smoke detectors in homes around town. Tell us a little bit about that. Uh, so I did the installs and um, we got uh, a lot of doors slammed in our face, but um, we did get in three houses and um, one house had five children sleeping upstairs with no smoke detectors at all in the house. So we got to put three in that house. Sounds like a privilege. Were people appreciative? Yeah, the people that let us in were appreciative, but uh, a lot of people, we woke a lot of people up and they were very happy. <laughs> <laughs> well, such is the trials and tribulations of serving Jesus, right? Yes. Yes. I'm here with Thomas Fox and with his mother, Penny, and of course, most of you know, beautiful little <laughs> Zoe. And their family project for years has been Dream Hats. Tell us a little bit about it, Penny. Well, Dream Hat started with a nurse down at Ohio State, and she always sewed her own hats, and she was waiting on a lot of patients who had cancer, and they always admired her hat. She decided to start sewing them for cancer patients. Anybody who needs a hat and has cancer, we sew them. We've sewed over 7,000 so far. Wow, is it fun being a part of that project, Thomas? Absolutely, it's fun helping people in need and providing a service. Yeah, and thank you for letting us participate with you in this project. And thank you so much for all the people who came to help sew. Every hat has a special prayer for a patient who's going to receive it. And thank you for Grace Point for all of your people who have volunteered to help us. Mm -hmm.